Hey guys, we're Sunday. We're gonna play a song for you called Oh No. winter of 2015 we had pretty much stopped trying we were like eh, it's not working because it was all instrumentals out. and i was like i was like okay i'm gonna start working like i got a bunch of recording gear and i was like i'm gonna start writing songs i'm gonna try singing i'm gonna learn how to <clears> sing <throat> because i can't do this anymore i want to be in a rock and roll band <laughs> and i ended up recording what's the opening track on our first album it's tiny bugs and then i recorded a demo of that and then sent it to them and they were Cool, let's do this for real. I remember the like, moment cool. she sent it to us too. And yeah, I put my headphones on. I listened to it like 20 times and I could not believe that that voice was coming out of her at the yeah, time. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. We and just had no idea she could sing like that and we were totally blown away. This song's called Bitch in a Moo Moo. Shit, 
as a group we really uh we found a middle ground early on with classic rock you know, you know yeah. bands like the doors the animals uh Pink Floyd. Uh, yeah, Pink Floyd. Zeppelin, that kind of Led stuff. Zeppelin. Yeah. We, we try and go for like heavy and melodic. We want people to dance. We want people to rock out. Mm-hmm. We want people we, we to, wanna, we wanna, to be able to sing along and remember the song. So we try and make it catchy. Yeah. And, and like, encompass every style of music that mm-hmm. we come from and we <clears throat> listen to and put it all into one thing, sort of. And this is Shaman Song. Today, hello. 
reason I call it Shaman Song was for me, uh, the, the subject matter of that song is very personal because uh, I've had uh, family and friends who, who have thoughts. I don't know if you noticed that it was a pretty dark song, but uh, I, I, I made it. Uh, it was it was sort of just this fluke. It was this beat that was stuck in my head. That ba na 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 song. I I just couldn't get it out of my head. Mm. At the time I was working retail, which means I had four hours behind a cash register every day, and I would just write. A lot of time to kill. But <laughs> uh, yeah, it just feels meditative to me because when I was writing it, I was really trying to capture a simplistic mood. I didn't want there to be because at the time. We were in like the thick of us being, you know, mini rush on stage. We're having all the solos and jams and trying to showcase our talent. Trying, trying to show off, yeah. And <clears throat> I, I wanted something different. I wanted something that would take us down a notch. That yeah. kind of really stayed the same throughout it while still having an impact. It's it, it's just a very different vibe from the rest of our songs because it's me. I I'm I'm super held back for most of that song until the end. I kind of get a little nuts there, but. That's what his vision for the song was, and he told us about it, and we were all, I mean, obviously more than on board, because it's his song, and he wants to, he sort of has an idea of where it's going to go.